Hello friends, thanks for joining me today. I am beginning a new project. It is my design team project for Rachel Bella Crafts. I am using her beautiful digital kit and it is called Letters of Love. This image from her kit I printed out on vintage music sheet and this image I printed out on a paper bag. I want to show you some of the ephemera from the kit. It's also absolutely beautiful. Now, I wanted to mention that the images that you see here, they are all from her kit, but I printed them out a little bit differently than they will print out if you purchase the kit because sometimes I resize things. That is actually one of the great things about using digitals is that, say for example, this pink flower, if I want it bigger, I can make it bigger. If I want it smaller, I can make it smaller. I like that digis give us some flexibility. I wanted to share with you four different ways that I tend to cut my ephemera. And one of the ways is using my decorative edge scissors, which I just used around the flower. That way I can get a jagged edge, which is much more natural than a straight edge when you're working with an image like that. The other way that I cut my ephemera is using a pair of just regular straight edge but I give a little bit of space around the image about a quarter of an inch and then I'll take that usually and I will ink it. The third way to cut and use our ephemera is to just do a straight cut and then you will have you could make perhaps a tag you could put it up on uh, the pop dots uh, just sort of gives you a nice clean piece of art to work with and just to give this one a little bit of a more of a finishing touch I'm going to go ahead and round the corners and the fourth way that I will fussy cut is to do an actual fussy cut and I will get as close to the image as I possibly can with my straight edge scissors. I wanted to give a shout out to Mimi's Keepsakes because during my 2K challenge, she suggested for me to do a rose journal. So she inspired me to choose this kit and to make a rose journal with it, which is what we are doing. I don't always ink my ephemera, it just depends on the project, and I certainly don't stick with just basic brown ink, although I do use it, and uh, you'll notice in this journal I'll use it quite a bit. But you can see here that I'm also using some red and some pink. For Christmas I received a beautiful paper pack and it is called Romance and I think it goes with Rachel Bella's kit really really nicely. So I'm going to use some of that in this project as well. Now here is the book I'm going to use. Isn't the cover absolutely lovely? As you can see I've gutted it already but I'm going to keep this piece because it's got like the, the page keeper in it. I have three different projects going on right now so I'm keeping my goodies in folders because I feel like it, it I just I won't be able to keep up with it so that's sort of how I'm keeping myself organized I don't typically have that many projects going on at one time uh, it just is the season in my life right now so I'll sort of work on one that I'm in the mood for and then if I'm in a different mood then I'll work on a different one because they're all going to be different from one another I wanted to mention how I go about working with vintage paper. Some vintage paper is really strong, but this particular paper is almost an antique. It's almost 100 years old, and it is starting to get brittle. 
So what I do, and I've shared this with you guys before, but if you're new here, welcome, and also just sharing some of my tips. Uh, if I'm gonna work with paper that's a bit brittle, then I will go ahead and decoupage it. Sometimes just one side, sometimes both sides, it depends, but I do put a thin coat of decoupage. This music sheet is definitely very fragile, so it needs some additional reinforcement. So I am going to add a piece of washi tape. I do put a bead of glue down first, and then I add the washi tape, and that way I am absolutely certain that it's going to stay on there. This paper is wider than the kit pages that I'm gonna use. So I figure I'll use the extra space on the ends to make some pockets. So I put a little glue on there, I folded it over, that's gonna create a nice little side pocket for me. But again, because of where that crease is and the paper is brittle, it's gonna be fragile. So I'm gonna add more washi tape on the edges. Thanks for joining me for this craft along video and checking out how I do certain things while I am creating journals. I am going to share some process videos of putting this journal together, but I've decided that I'm only going to share working on the first signature and then the second signature will be a complete surprise for the flip through because I think that's everyone's favorite usually is the flip throughs. I hope you are all doing well and good and as I always tell you and I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart I appreciate every minute that you spend here on my channel thanks for watching see you soon